Flamingos are a type of wading bird in the family Phenicopteridae. The name flamingo comes from Portuguese or Spanish flamingo, meaning flame-colored. These birds require large expanses of shallow water, usually saline, brackish, or alkaline, from sea level to 5,000 meters above sea level. They are found on all continents, with the exception of Oceania. Six extant flamingo species are recognized. The greater and the lesser flamingo. The Chilean and the James's flamingo. The Andean and the American flamingo. Recent molecular studies have suggested a relation with grebes. Morphological evidence also strongly supports a relationship between them, holding at least 11 morphological traits in common, which are not found in other birds. The greater flamingo is the tallest of the six different species of flamingos, standing at 3.9 to 4.7 feet, 1.2 to 1.4 meters, with a weight up to 7.7 .7 pounds, 3.5 kilograms. And the shortest flamingo species, the lesser, has a height of 2.6 feet, 0.8 meters, and weighs 5.5 pounds, 2.5 kilograms. Flamingos can have a wingspan as small as 37 inches 94 centimeters to as big as 59 inches 150 centimeters. Flamingos usually stand on one leg with the other tucked beneath the body. The reason for this behavior is not fully understood. One theory is that standing on one leg allows the birds to conserve more body heat, given that they spend a significant amount of time waiting in cold water. However, the behavior also takes place in warm water and is also observed in birds that do not typically stand in water. An alternative theory is that standing on one leg reduces the energy expenditure for producing muscular effort to stand and balance on one leg. Flamingos are capable flyers that keep their neck and legs fully stretched while flying. Flamingos bills are specially adapted to separate mud and silt from the food they eat, and are uniquely used upside down. They filter feed on brine shrimp and blue-green algae as well as insect larvae, small insects, mollusks and crustaceans, making them omnivores. The filtering of food items is assisted by hairy structures called lamellae, which line the mandibles and the large, rough surface tongue. The pink or reddish color of flamingos comes from carotenoids in their diet of animal and plant plankton. Flamingos are very social birds, they live in colonies whose population can number in the thousands. These large colonies are believed to serve three purposes for the flamingos, avoiding predators, maximizing food intake, and using scarce suitable nesting sites more efficiently. Flamingos are considered very noisy birds, with their noises and vocalizations ranging from grunting or growling to nasal honking. Vocalizations play an important role in parent-chick recognition, ritualized displays, and keeping large flocks together. Both males and females perform synchronized ritual displays by stretching their necks upwards, uttering calls while head flagging, and then flapping their wings. The displays do not seem directed towards an individual, but occur randomly. These stimulate synchronous nesting and help pair up those birds that do not already have mates. The female usually locates and selects a suitable spot on the mudflat to build a nest, which is made of mud, shaped like a truncated cone, with a concave top. Females lay, and then incubate, one, and sometimes two, white eggs, for about 30 days. Both the male and the female contribute to build the nest, and to protect the egg. After the chicks hatch, both of them feed their chicks with a kind of crop milk, produced in glands lining the whole of the upper digestive tract. The milk contains fat, protein, and red and white blood cells. The young are fed for about two months, until their beak is sufficiently developed to filter their own food. For the first six days after the chicks hatch, they stay with their parents in the nesting sites. At around 7 to 12 days old, the chicks begin to move out of their nests and explore their surroundings. When they are two weeks old, the chicks congregate in groups, called microcrex, and their parents leave them alone. After a while, the microcrex merge into creches containing thousands of chicks. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that, each new subscriber and positive comment, motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.